Have you ever felt a tingling sensation in your hands or a warmth spreading through your body for no apparent reason? Maybe you've experienced sudden chills or goosebumps even on a warm day. These seemingly random sensations might be more than just quirks of your nervous system. They could be signs that you're tapping into a powerful force, and that is healing energy. You're about to embark on a journey of discovery, exploring the concept of healing energy and how it might be manifesting in your own body. This isn't about mystical powers or supernatural abilities. Instead, we'll be discussing the idea that your body has natural healing capabilities and that you can learn to recognize and harness these innate powers. Throughout this video, you'll learn about specific physical sensations that many people associate with channeling healing energy. We'll dive into what these sensations might mean and how you can potentially use them to improve your well-being and even help others. It's crucial to approach this topic with an open mind, but also with a healthy dose of skepticism. The concepts we'll discuss are based on various traditional and alternative healing practices, as well as some modern interpretations of energy work. Understanding healing energy. You've heard the term healing energy before, but what does it really mean? At its core, healing energy is a concept that suggests there's a natural force within and around us that can promote physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. It's not some mystical power, but rather an idea that's been around for centuries in various cultures. Think back to ancient practices like traditional Chinese medicine or Ayurveda. These systems have long believed in the existence of a vital life force that flows through all living things. In Chinese medicine, it's called Kai, while in Ayurveda, it's known as Prana. These concepts aren't just limited to Eastern philosophies. Many indigenous cultures worldwide have similar beliefs about energy and its connection to health. Fast forward to today, and you'll find that healing energy has taken on new interpretations. Modern practitioners often describe it as a form of bioenergy or biofield, a subtle energy field that surrounds and permeates the human body. Some even argue that this energy can be measured and manipulated to promote healing. But what does science say about all this? Well, it's a bit of a mixed bag. While there's no concrete scientific evidence for the existence of healing energy as traditionally described, researchers are exploring related concepts. Studies on bioelectromagnetic fields and the effects of touch therapies have shown some intriguing results, though more research is needed. As you delve into this topic, it's crucial to maintain a balance between open-mindedness and healthy skepticism. While many people report positive experiences with energy healing, it's important to approach it with a critical eye. Remember, being open to new ideas doesn't mean abandoning critical thinking. In the end, understanding healing energy is about exploring a different perspective on health and well-being. Whether you fully embrace the concept or not, it can offer interesting insights into how different cultures view the connection between mind, body, and the world around us common sensations associated with healing energy. Let's dive into some common sensations associated with this phenomenon. First up, the tingling or buzzing feeling. It's not uncommon for people to report a subtle vibration, almost like electricity, flowing through their hands or other parts of their body. This sensation often comes on suddenly and can last for varying durations. If you felt this, it might be your body's way of recognizing and processing healing energy. Next, let's talk about warmth. You might find yourself experiencing sudden heat sensations, almost as if your internal thermostat has gone haywire. This warmth isn't necessarily uncomfortable. Many describe it as a soothing, comforting feeling. It could be localized to a specific area or spread throughout your entire body. This warmth is often associated with the movement of energy within you. Have you ever had a sudden emotional shift or a flash of intuition that seemed to come out of nowhere. These experiences can also be linked to channeling healing energy. You might find yourself feeling inexplicably joyful or peaceful, or you could have a sudden insight into a problem you've been grappling with. These shifts in your emotional or mental state can be indicators that you're tapping into something beyond your everyday consciousness. Another sign to watch out for is an increased awareness of your bodily sensations. 
You might start noticing subtle changes in your breathing, heartbeat, or even the way your clothes feel against your skin. This heightened sensitivity isn't about becoming hyper aware of discomfort, but rather about tuning into the subtle energies flowing through your body. Vivid dreams and synchronicities are also worth paying attention to. You might find your dream life becoming more vibrant and memorable, or you could start noticing meaningful coincidences in your waking life. These experiences can be signs that you're becoming more attuned to the subtle energies around and within you. Now, you might be wondering why these sensations occur. The explanation lies in the concept of energy fields that exist within and around our bodies. When you start to channel healing energy, you're essentially opening yourself up to these fields. Your body and mind begin to recognize and process this energy, which can manifest in various physical and emotional sensations. It's important to note that everyone's experience with healing energy is unique. You might resonate with all of these sensations or only a few. The key is to pay attention to what you're feeling and trust your intuition. These sensations are your body's way of communicating with you, signaling that you're tapping into something powerful and potentially transformative. Moreover, channeling healing energy isn't about forcing these experiences. It's about opening yourself up to the possibility and allowing these sensations to flow naturally. By recognizing and acknowledging these signs, you're taking the first step towards harnessing your innate healing power, recognizing your potential. You might not realize it, but you possess an incredible ability within you. It's not something reserved for a chosen few or those born with special gifts. We're talking about your innate capacity for energy work. Many believe that only certain individuals can channel healing energy. This notion couldn't be further from the truth. The reality is that every single person has this potential lying dormant within them. It's not about having a unique talent. It's about recognizing and nurturing what's already there. So what's the key to unlocking this potential? It all starts with belief and intention. When you truly believe in your ability to work with energy, you open doors you never knew existed. Your intention acts as a guiding force, directing this energy towards healing and positivity. But here's the thing, you can't just wish it into existence. Developing your energy work skills requires self-awareness and trust. You need to tune into your body and mind, recognizing the subtle sensations and changes that occur when you're tapping into this energy. Start by taking moments throughout your day to check in with yourself. How does your body feel? Are there any tingling sensations or areas of warmth? These could be signs that you are already channeling healing energy without even realizing it. Trust is equally important. Trust in yourself, in the process, and in the energy you're working with. It's normal to have doubts, but don't let them hold you back. Remember, this ability is part of who you are. It's not something external or separate from you. As you continue to explore and develop your energy work skills, you'll likely find that it becomes more natural and intuitive. Don't be discouraged if progress seems slow at first. Like any skill, it takes time and practice to master. Harnessing your healing energy. Now that you've identified the sensations of healing energy in your body, it's time to harness that power. Let's explore various techniques to enhance and direct your healing abilities. First, Let's discuss the energy scan technique. This powerful method allows you to assess your body's energy field, to perform a full body energy scan, find a quiet space and lie down comfortably. Close your eyes and take several deep breaths. Visualize a warm glowing light starting at the top of your head. Slowly move this light down your body, paying attention to any areas that feel different. You might notice sensations of heat, coolness, tingling, or even resistance. These are potential energy blockages. When you identify a blockage, focus your attention on that area. Imagine the warm light dissolving the blockage, allowing energy to flow freely. This process may take practice, but with time, you'll become more adept at detecting and clearing these energy obstacles. Next, let's explore the use of crystals in sound therapy. Crystals are natural amplifiers of energy, each with unique properties. For beginners, clear quartz is an excellent all-purpose crystal. Hold it in your hands during meditation or place it on areas of your body that need healing. Sound therapy, using tools like singing bowls or tuning forks, can also be incredibly effective. 
The vibrations from these instruments help to realign your energy field. Try combining crystal and sound therapies by placing crystals around you while listening to healing frequencies. This synergistic approach can lead to profound energetic shifts. Understanding and balancing your chakras is another crucial aspect of energy work. The seven main chakras are energy centers aligned along your spine, each associated with different aspects of your physical and emotional well-being. To assess your chakra health, pay attention to any physical or emotional issues you are experiencing. These often correlate with specific chakras. For example, if you're having trouble expressing yourself, your throat chakra may be blocked. To open and balance this chakra, try neck stretches to singing or visualizing a bright blue light in your throat area. Similar practices exist for each chakra, allowing you to maintain overall energetic balance. Your aura, the energy field surrounding your body, also plays a vital role in your healing abilities. To visualize your aura, stand in front of a white wall in dim lighting. Soften your gaze and look slightly to the side of your body. With practice, you may begin to see a faint colored outline. To cleanse your aura, try taking salt baths or using the ancient practice of smudging with sage. To strengthen your aura, practice visualization exercises. Imagine your aura as a protective bubble of light expanding around you. Energy transmutation is a powerful skill for any healer. This involves identifying negative energy and transforming it into positive energy. The emotional alchemy technique is particularly effective. When you experience a negative emotion, acknowledge it without judgment. Then, visualize this emotion as a dark cloud. Imagine infusing this cloud with golden light, watching it transform into a positive emotion. Finally, developing your unique healing signature is crucial. Everyone has natural healing strengths. Some may excel at hands-on healing, while others might be more attuned to distance healing. Pay attention to what feels most natural to you. Create personalized energy healing rituals that resonate with your strengths. This might involve a combination of techniques we've discussed or something entirely unique to you. Trust your intuition in this process. Your intuition is your most powerful tool in energy work. Remember, harnessing your healing energy is a journey. Be patient with yourself as you explore these techniques. With practice and dedication, you'll discover the immense healing potential within you, ready to be shared with the world. Practical Applications Now that you've learned about channeling healing energy, let's explore how you can put this knowledge to work in your daily life. There are several practical ways to harness this power, both for yourself and others. First, let's talk about self-healing techniques. You can start by finding a quiet, comfortable space where you won't be disturbed. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to center yourself. As you breathe, imagine a warm, healing light entering your body with each inhale. Visualize this energy flowing to any areas of discomfort or tension. You might feel a tingling sensation or a gentle warmth as you practice. Remember, consistency is key. Even a few minutes each day can make a huge difference. Supporting others with healing energy is another powerful application, but it's crucial to always ask for consent first. If someone agrees, you can use similar visualization techniques while focusing your intention on their well-being. You might gently place your hands near them without touching and imagine the healing energy flowing through you to them. Pay attention to any sensations you experience, but also respect boundaries and never claim to replace medical treatment. Interestingly, channeling healing energy can also enhance your creativity and problem-solving abilities. When you're stuck on a project or facing a challenge, try taking a moment to connect with this energy. Visualize it clearing your mind and opening you up to new possibilities. You might be surprised at the fresh ideas that emerge. More importantly, this practice can significantly improve your relationships and communication. Before important conversations or meetings, Take a moment to center yourself and connect with healing energy. Imagine it creating a positive, open atmosphere around you. This can help you approach interactions with more patience, empathy, and clarity. As you explore these applications, you may encounter some challenges. Doubt and skepticism are common, especially when you're just starting out. It's natural to question whether what you're experiencing is real. 
The key is to approach your practice with an open mind and focus on the sensations and results you observe, rather than getting caught up in self-doubt. You might also find that your results are inconsistent at first. Some days, you'll feel a strong connection to the energy, while other times, it might seem difficult to achieve. This is normal and part of the learning process. Keep practicing regularly, and you'll likely notice more consistency over time. For some people, working with healing energy can lead to feelings of overwhelm or increased sensitivity. If this happens to you, it's important to take breaks and ground yourself. Spending time in nature, engaging in physical activities, or practicing grounding meditation can help balance your energy. Balancing energy work with your daily life might also be challenging at first. Start small by incorporating short sessions into your routine, gradually increasing as you become more comfortable. Remember, this practice should enhance your life, not add stress to it. I encourage you to experiment and explore these techniques for yourself. Everyone's experience with healing energy is unique, so don't be afraid to adapt these practices to suit your needs and preferences. However, it's crucial to approach this work responsibly. Always prioritize your well-being and that of others. Continue learning about energy work from reputable sources, and remember that it complements, rather than replaces, conventional medical care. So if you have any health concerns, always consult with qualified healthcare professionals first, because this video is about exploring potential, not replacing proven medical care. By harnessing your innate ability to channel healing energy, you're opening yourself up to a world of potential benefits. Whether you're seeking personal growth, improved health, or ways to positively impact those around you, this practice offers valuable tools for your journey. Trust your intuition, stay curious, and enjoy the process of discovering your own healing power.